The Yozhik drone is designed to empower soldiers in deteriorating battlefield conditions. It allows them to deploy a drone directly from their trenches to deliver explosives to enemy lines or to strategically place munitions under the most vulnerable sections of enemy equipment. The new unmanned ground vehicle, UGV, operates on wheels rather than tracks. While tracked systems are technically more complex and costly to implement, they offer little advantage in small-sized vehicles that require significant traction. Given the presence of mud and construction debris on the battlefield, a wheeled platform offers superior off-road capabilities, making it the most cost-effective and resilient option. Russian forces will test the Hedgehog drone under combat conditions, using it for reconnaissance missions and to draw enemy fire. The aim is to identify enemy firing positions effectively. To meet these operational requirements, the special forces have specifically requested an extension of the Hedgehog's communication range, enabling it to travel further into the field. The drone is equipped with 360-degree cameras, providing a comprehensive field of view. The Russian UGV is expected to be deployed in Ukraine within a week. Currently, only one unit of this ground-based drone is being sent, as the Design Bureau is funding all developments through its own resources and modest donations. The Special Forces have financed the modernization of the Hedgehog, and it will be operational alongside them. According to Bratenkov, the Design Bureau is also working on an armed version of the drone, capable of firing ammunition specifically designed for FPV drones. This will allow the Hedgehog to approach enemy positions more closely and engage them effectively. It was previously reported that the Hedgehog maintains its mobility even when flipped over. Initially designed as a cost-effective means to deliver explosive devices to enemy positions, it can currently carry a payload of up to 5 kilograms over a range of 5 kilometers. Future plans aim to increase this payload capacity to 10 kilograms. Russia is currently pursuing a number of UGV concepts and projects, all at various stages of use, development, testing or evaluation. For example, Russian forces used UGV solutions in Syria, from the smallest to one of the largest UGVs in the world today. Urine 6, tracked demining robot has been assisting Russian sappers across Syria, helping clear recaptured areas from mines, improvised explosive devices and unexploded ordnance. Weighing at approximately 6 tons and designed to operate in extreme environment, this machine has been operating for almost a year at this point. According to Russian and Western sources, Russian demining teams were also operating the Scarab and the Sphere, small UGVs. The Scarab is a light-tracked system designed to collect audiovisual data. The Sphere is a baseball-sized wireless exploration drone equipped with cameras, microphones, sensors, signal processing and data recording. The Sphere is designed to efficiently collect audiovisual data in hard-to-reach or dangerous zones, such as tunnels or collapsed structures. Russia has built and begun to integrate its first combat UGV, Platforma M, medium-sized vehicle is designed for intelligence gathering and reconnaissance roles. It is armed with a 7.62mm machine gun and four grenade launchers. This UGV is already in service with the Russian Pacific Fleet. 
With a weight of about 800 kilograms, it can work on a 48-hour battery. Given Russian success on the Syrian battlefield, there has already been some speculation whether Moscow-allied Syrian forces actually used Russian-armed UGVs in recent combat operations. A closer international investigation by Bellingcat revealed that such use of combat unmanned ground systems probably did not take place, though numerous Russian UGV designs point to their potential use in combat scenarios. So far, Russian UGV development exhibited the absence of inter-service rivalry when it comes to funding, testing and fielding such systems downrange, although this may have more to do with the novelty of UGVs as a Russian force multiplier. At the same time, Russian military is gearing up to use ground military robots in future conflicts as it works on UGVs fit for such roles. One such design, Armored Urin-9, is built specifically for combat operations, weighing in at 10 tons, it is armed with a 30mm cannon, 7.62mm machine gun, and can potentially fire Ataka, anti-tank missiles and IGLA, surface-to-air missiles. Russian military experts think this particular UGV could be used in Syria in the near future in support of Russian ground forces. Urin-9, intimidating and futuristic-looking prototype has been actively featured in Russian and Western media as the sign of things to come in unmanned combat. Additionally, in 2015, Russia unveiled Heavy Armored Uder, a UGV based on the BMP-3 armored vehicle chassis. The BMP-3 chassis was chosen by designers as the most versatile platform that is widespread across Russian armed forces, easing potential vehicle maintenance and repair. This UGV carries heavy armaments such as 30mm cannon and potentially even a multicopter drone for greater intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance role. This tank-sized vehicle is planned in three variants, combat, engineering support, and transportation, evacuation. Today, it has been renamed as VIHR, Hurricane, and its evaluation continues by the Ministry of Defense. Mid-sized unmanned, Narita, was recently unveiled, armed with weapons including 7.62mm machine gun. This machine is also envisioned to operate in three variants, combat, intelligence gathering and transportation, logistics support. Earlier, Russia's Foundation for Advanced Studies, equivalent to American DARPA, chose Narita as a research and development platform for new and emerging technologies, including artificial intelligence I, and cooperation with unmanned aerial vehicles. This UGV has been recently tested for cooperation with small unmanned aerial vehicles in battlefield conditions, and it is also a testing and development bed for voice signal communication with Ratnik, Russia's newest warfighter gear. 